All right, welcome back, folks. This is a retro game reminiscent of uh, Missile Command, but it's based uh, kind of on a Vectrex system look, which I particularly like. Uh, if you see, I've been playing a little bit here. Uh, let's go, th I can show you some of the menus. I like the green. It's a little easier on my eyes. I reduced the strobing. But where is the default? It's um, this one. Ultra bright. This is the default. And you see we've got full colors, which the Vectrex did not have. Yeah, that was the system that got away from me when I was a kid. When I was young. It was difficult to find, and when you could find it, it was expensive. But it was good. You know, growing up in the 70s and 80s, it was fun times. I'm going to play a little bit on this def. Well, maybe I won't use the default. I will use the next one. Uh, display options this extra fine and actually I think the was high and I think the gain was was it five no I think it was either three or four for the default oops I went past it ultra bright so you can see this was the this is the default setting it's a little bit hard on the eyes. So I went with the extra fine, turned the detail down to basic, reduced the strobing. And it's a very simple game. All you need is a mouse, basically. Oh, I missed him. Oh, I got it. All right. So you have a shield. Asteroids are coming in. This is your shield right here. So you get a bonus for uh, killing all the asteroids, too. There's different bonuses, and this is a roguelike where you get to pick uh, skills and stuff like that. And when you get a level, you get an extra skill point. So stockpile nukes, generative shield, that sounds like exactly what it is. Arc flail, when things get close to the shield, it zaps them. And this is uh, citizen proposal. This is basically your reroll to get uh, different stuff, so... And it has a kind of a humorous thing. Placate citizens with messages of full support for their idea while actually doing nothing about it. Boy, that sounds uh, sounds very familiar, doesn't it? Sounds like every government in the world. So what do I want? I think uh, immediately purchase three nukes from the international arms market. Nukes come in handy later. Come in very handy. And you can see the uh, turret tracking is a little bit slow at the moment. There are upgrades for that later. Ooh, I don't like these guys. They're, the way they come in is a, the pattern they use is a pain. Yeah, see, he hit me. Now, the red guy, that's a nuke. That's a baby nuke. So they will... If you let them finish their pattern... Ah, no, 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 no. Okay, I made it. So... There you go. I got a level, so I get an extra upgrade point. Stockpile nukes. I don't need... Uh, let's see, nuclear weapons lab. 
Evaluate benefits. Increase production. So, yeah. Let's fund research on that. Improve gimbal speed. That's handy. So, we will take that. Although, regenerative shield... Like, it's early. Yeah, that's what this is. This is a, your shield condition. That's, that's what that is. So, if you can shoot them all before they get into formation, you get a... Uh, you get a bonus. Ah, uh, he escaped. God, oh. There you go, there's a nuke. So yeah, sometimes you, they're way over there, just let them go. Yeah, that was a lousy, stinky bonus right there. Apocalypse averted. Uh, ha, 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 ha. I think shield 23%. Attempt communication. There we go. Increase rate of fire. Okay. That's what I'm looking for. And another thing that I noticed. the uh, It's easier to target... If you um, keep your mouse closer to your base. And that's uh, simply because you don't have to cover as much real estate on your desk. No, 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 no. Okay, good. These guys are... The way they come in, that formation they use is... It's kind of a nuisance. What did I get? 3,300 points. Kind of stinks. Ration warheads. Launch mini nukes with reduced blast that immediately doubles existing stockpile. Hmm. I think, you know, I, I usually go for this one. Produce an extra missile every day, but I think I will try this one this time. That gives me 13 nukes. Oh boy, gotta watch out for those guys. That's a nuke. That's a that's another nuke. That's like a small nuke, and the other one was, a, I guess, what you would call a middle nuke. The larger asteroids can hit the ground and bounce towards the uh, towards your base. Blackout protocol on a shield fairing create a short burst of extreme firepower. Well, let's give that a try. Because I don't see my shield lasting much longer. Oh, there you go. Got a bonus right there. Yeah, this game is, uh, this game's a lot of fun. But it does reach a point, you'll get to a point where you just can't, simply just can't fend them off. Sometimes it's better just to use the fire hose technique, just left and right. Yeah, there you go. Those shurikens, those are like tiny nukes. And the game, it, it, it looks like asteroids. Kind of plays like uh, maybe, I guess, Galaga or Galaxian. Uh, has the appearance of like a battle zone. It's, it's kind of, it's fun. Increased rate of fire. There we go. Let's take that extended mag rail. Turret projectile velocity by 40%, damage by 5%. Yeah, let's take that. Yeah, and it auto-shoots whenever uh, enemies show up. Oh, 
Oh, those guys disappear and then they'll show up and charge up a direct blast. They suck. There we go. I killed him in time. No. Oh, okay, okay. No, we can make it. We can make it. We can do it. Yeah, there we go. Got it. There must be somebody still... Okay. Antimatter warheads. International arms market has been destroyed. Uh, momentary singularity begins with each detonation. Pulling in nearby matter towards a 20% longer lasting fireball. Institute of Automation. This one is very handy. Ooh, somehow I... Oh, uh, and, you know, I forgot to mention that the enemies are vulnerable to their own explosions. Occasionally you will get gigantic asteroids. Not getting there. There we go. Deploy watchtower. I suppose let's put it right there. And you can set your targeting nearest, weakest, strongest. So I'm going to go for nearest. Mommy nearest. There he is. Hate those guys. Got him. There's another one. Shit. I'm gonna take out those guys. There we go. Good. Good, 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 good. Configure outpost. Yeah, we, that's done. Okay. Deploy laser optimized operation. Let's uh, get another power out there. He's already on nearest. Done. The music in this game is cool. These guys are a pain in the ass. Oh. Uh-oh. Can we make it? Can we survive? Where is that guy? Here he is, right there. We got him. Advance, what does this do? Regenerative shield, ricochet munitions. Hmm. Explosively rebound off enemies, or... What does this do? Superconductive components. Reduction capacity of a ton of machinery to support additional two outposts. I've never gotten that far to where I could make use of that. High frequency laser. What is this? Upgrade an existing laser watchtower. We have 50% more damage. One time instant recharge, regeneration recharge times doubled. Okay. Let's close. I suppose let's take that. Oh, we get two. Uh, increased production of nukes, liquid oxygen, proofs, velocity of missiles by 50. Okay, advanced cryogenics. Do we want to reroll? Yeah, let's reroll. Cobalt fire high density rods snipped from continuous coils of metal. 
50% increase impact damage, 20% velocity, upgradable to 3600 RPM. Gimbal speed, 25% slower, but it's 50% increase impact damage. And you can... And I've got those uh, explosive ricochet things going on too. Yeah, the slow gimbal is a killer. Ooh, I think I got him. Yeah, for the... Sometimes you can get away with... Oh, there he is. Thing is, he charges up and he'll he'll target your towers and one shot he'll take him out. Commando, what is that? What is commando? Survive a full day with the shitty sh city shield offline. Welcome shitty walk, take a order, please. <coughs> Regenerative shield optimize operations. I think we'll do that. <coughs> Oh, these guys suck. Oh, here it comes. That's a kind of a medium nuke that they shoot. Nah. Oof. Oh shit. Uh oh. Ooh, that was close. Ooh. <laughs> Chef's kiss is, uh. What is Chef's kiss? Without taking any shield hits. Oh yeah, okay. Liquid oxygen boosters, generative shield, advanced materials. What was this again? Uh, yeah, let's do that. You get bonus points when it says like the OKs and the stars and stuff. You get bonus points for doing that. Would be nice if you could increase the range on the turrets, towers, I mean. Some better, better tracking speed. Superconducting increased turret projectile velocity by 20, impact damage by 10. What is this? Plasma physics. This is for. That's for shield stuff, which I don't. Shield is off. Increased damage, damage by 10, velocity by 20. Or do we increase rate of fire? I think we'll increase damage. Oh, look at that. Improved gimbal speed. You gotta, gotta take it. There we go. That's almost back to normal. Oh, this is a boss. Uh-oh. 
oh, oh, come on, come on. And that, that guy. Ah, I hate those guys. Almost hit the city. Ooh. Ooh, I think we made it. Wow. Calamari Fertiti. That's for killing the big guy. Increased production, capacity, autonomous machine support, additional two outposts. Ah, uh, yeah, let's go for it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You get to a point, you think you're doing all right, and then you get to a point, it's just no good. And here it comes. Oh. Oh, my turrets are almost offline. I know they do some self-maintenance. You see the numbers flashing, they're repairing themselves. Berserker, what is that? Five consecutive days with the sh without the shield. Okay. Unlocks Berserker Charter. I don't know what that means. Okay. Uh, invoke Berserker Charter. Now or never, decommission the city shield. Related infrastructure, divert resources to extreme offensive. 10%... Nuclear burn damage. Evaluate benefits. Alpha automation. Acquires institute. Okay. Sawn off barrels. Increased trajectory spread. 10%. Okay. Shotgun cannon conversion. Okay. I don't know if I can do that because I took the other one that it just gave me a single. Tactical nukes. Micro missiles with further... Reduced fireball, immediately double existing stockpile. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, so increased trajectory sped from each individual railgun barrel. 10% velocity boost. Or increase high frequency laser. Um I'm gonna go with that. I wanna see what that does. Oh, that's right. You got to kill the head, the head of this guy. There you go. Hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo! Firecracker, that's a new one. What is that? Detonates a string of serpent invaders with railgun. Okay, destroy 15 in 10 enemies with a single nuke. Alright, good. Anti alpha automation. Lloyd laser watch to increase production capacity. Time of change supports additional two outposts. I think we need another tower. Let's put you on something else. We got him. Oh, damn. And that's it. That's the end. Except defeat. 16 days. These guys, they suck.
So let's look at our upgrade history. Week one, nukes, weapons lab, gimbal speed. Attempt communication is a reroll. Rate of fire, warheads, blackout protocol. Fire rate, mag rail, automation. Laser watchtower, laser watchtower. Ricochet munitions, reroll. Cobalt gun, optimized operations. Advanced materials lab, superconducting mag. Gimbal speed, com superconductive components, berserker charter, sawn off barrel, deploy laser watchtower. So that's what I was saying. You, it it gets to a point where you just can't do anything, and I you know I've never gotten far enough to take advantage of the extra towers. Although I mean, don't get me wrong, I I love the game so far. So that's it for now. I just wanted to show it. I will be playing it more. I might stream it. I don't know if anybody's interested in watching it, but it's Utopia Must Fall. And they have another game. Uh, hang on. Let me look on Steam here. They have another game. It reminds me of kind of like Zaxxon. So yeah, this Utopia Must Fall is currently $5.99. And the other game is called Grid Ranger. You can get the bundle for $7.38. And Grid Ranger, it, it really looks like, really, it's the same kind of vector look. Because I guess these guys developed this uh, vector looking game engine. This Pixel Jam company. And it really reminds me of Zaxxon. So yeah, that's it for now. Uh, let me know what you think. You know, like, subscribe, all that stuff. Let me know. I'll be playing more of this. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.